Hi, welcome back to Coding in Minutes. Today we're gonna to learn why this creates this. Basically nothing except for making Eclipse the dark theme, so at least the most important thing is done. First thing you're gonna do is create a class and name it Hello World, with a lowercase h and uppercase w because programming. Now delete everything in the code window. This is so you're used to typing everything out. We'll start with typing package, and whatever you name the project. It's most likely tutorial. Think of a package like a folder. It just organizes multiple codes, but we won't get into multiple packages for a long time, so we'll move on. Make sure to add a semicolon after every line of code. This signifies the end of a command. It's like a full stop in writing. Now we have to create the main body. Type public class, then the name of the class, most likely hello world. Public means that it can be accessed and edited by other classes, and class just refers to the class the code is being written in. A class can be any combination of letters, digits, underscores, and dollar signs, but it cannot start with a digit. Now, instead of a semicolon, we'll be putting an open curly bracket, which in this program automatically adds a closed bracket. Hit enter, and you should now be typing on a tabbed line. This means everything typed here is enclosed within the public class. Now for a complicated line of text. Type public static void main open parentheses string open bracket closed bracket space ARGS closed parentheses. And at the end, add an open curly bracket. You don't have to know what this means yet, but in case you're curious, I'll try to explain quickly. It's public, meaning it can be accessed and edited by other classes. Static allows this main method to be called directly. Void means the main method will not return anything. Main is the name of the method, and string ARGS is defining a string array for the main method. If you have little knowledge of programming, this probably went completely over your head. And that's okay. You'll understand it as the series goes on. To put it basically, this is the first thing the program will run. Now let's press enter and put in our last line of code. Type system.out.print, open parentheses, open quotations, hello world, close quotations, close parentheses, semicolon. This will display system-based text that states, hello world. Now let's test it by pressing the run button. It should look like this. If it does not, make sure your code matches mine. A copy of this and future codes will be in the description of this video, but I highly recommend typing it yourself to learn more effectively. Only use the codes I put in the description if you're hopelessly stuck or you want to check your work. After you're done celebrating the creation of your first program, let's move on by adding another line of code that has the same system.out.print, but this time put my name is and your name. But if someone is looking at the code without context, how would they know they're supposed to type their name? Let's type a note using two backslashes. This means nothing on the line to the right of the slashes will be processed. Now let's run it. That doesn't look right. Let's add an LN at the end of the first system.out.print to create a line break. That's better, but let's not end it there. Go back to the second line and put a plus after the quotation and add a new set of quotations that says, comma, and I have something to say. Now add a new line that says system.out.print and whatever you want. Before, we used print ln to create a line break, but now let's use escape sequences. An escape sequence is a backslash and a character that can be used for organizing within the quotations. For example, your terminal may look very cluttered in future programs with user input, so let's get in the habit of adding a backslash f after the first quotation on the first print, so the terminal is clear after a certain point. Now let's fix the line break by adding backslash n at the start of the last print. Also, let's put what you would say to the world in quotations with backslash open quotations at the start and end of your quote to the world. Finally, we'll put a backslash t to add a tab and type a dash and me open parentheses 2000 plus 18 close parentheses or whatever year it is. Using plus within parentheses and two integers, we'll add the two numbers together and give us 2018. There's also a single quote and single backslash escape sequence that we'll throw in the end for practice. Now your output should look something like this. Now let's take a look at a program I created in high school with the knowledge learned in this segment of The Young Programmer. All right, in this segment, we're going to be checking out some of the programs I made in high school with the knowledge taught in this video. So the only one I could find, unfortunately, is this one. It's just titled Wef Wufi. So this is the only one I could find, unfortunately. For the rest of them, we're going to have a lot. It'll be, it'll be interesting. All right, so when you run it, it just says memes five times. Now, isn't that just spectacular? Just uh, put it back to our lesson today. I could have just done, could have done backslash n, 
and did that multiple times. This is the most efficient way to write memes five times. So if you want to write memes five times and want to be efficient with what you've learned, you gotta do backslash n to save those two characters. It's like a few bytes worth of uh, memory. So if you're running on MS-DOS, this is probably a trick you're gonna wanna know. For today's homework, I want you to create a program that displays this. Try it on your own, but remember that if you get stuck, the answer will be in the description of the video. Thank you for watching and stick with me as we learn about variables and user input in the next episode.